Curly Queen's Fave Wash and Go. If you want high definition curls from a wash and go, please watch this tutorial. Okay, the first step is while you're in the shower to add conditioner to soaking wet hair and detangle. You want to have a really good conditioner with really good slip so that you can work that detangling comb through to make sure you don't have any knots. It's very important, especially if you've had a style for maybe like a week or longer to get those knots and kinks out of your hair so that you can get those high definition curls. Okay, so while you're still upside down to encourage volume at the root of your hair, you'll put in your leave-in conditioner. This is the first step of the lock method. Next, add your oil, minus coconut oil, but you can use whatever kind of oil you like for your own hair. Okay, so for the cream, my cream that I use is Eden Body Works Curl Defining Cream. Any curl defining cream will work. Uh, lastly, I use Eco Styler Gel because Eco Styler doesn't give it crunch, but it does give it a strong hold, which makes mine last for a really long time. And I'm able to refresh those curls with the gel in it. So I just work the gel through. I do a lot of finger detangling at this point, And then I follow up here with a comb to make sure all those tangles are out of my hair. To get those really good defined curls, you want to make sure your hair is soaking wet. That's why I'm doing this in the shower. If you let your hair dry, you won't get as much definition. Once you get that work through, shake it. Yes, shake that hair like there's bees attacking your head. You want to make sure that those curls pop, okay? make them pop and it makes them hang down. It gives them that hang time you want. Yes, I am still in my bathing suit. And that last part, you're probably thinking, wow, that was crazy because I was shaking my hair all over. Not only does it separate your curls, it makes your curls drop down, okay? So I shook it as much as I want to and then I generally just do one last shake to the side that I prefer which is always generally this side so I have my curls they're separated and I love the definition if I want a wild semi frizzy wash and go um, I generally like mine a little bit more defined so at the end I do more shingling with the eco styler now the shingling is basically, I just put some gel on my fingertips and I go through and I personally separate curls. I generally start at the bottom and I just take the strand between my fingers which has gel on it and I shingle. Now generally um, people say when you're shingling you do uh, you look for where the curl is and where you feel that the curl wants to separate itself. However, at this point, um, I don't have my glasses or my contacts. So, and I can do this blindly. I'll sit down on the couch and do this all the time. It doesn't necessarily have to be um, where I feel that the curls are going to separate. I just maybe coat them with a little extra gel and Eco Styler, if you know anything about Eco Styler doesn't make your hair crunchy it does have a nice hold to it see now when you do that and you see it doesn't look right take it separate it again so you can get the desired look so I just go through my hair and I shingle 
just to make it easier on me to define some of the curls a little bit more. You don't have to put a lot of gel on there. Just put a little, go through, and finish shingling. I do this all over my head. Maybe takes an extra 10 minutes added on to my wash and go. But honestly, after I've done it, I will notice that a wash and go will last for a lot longer if I do the shingling. And I pineapple at night, just put all my hair on top of my head, and the next day I just take it down, I wet it, I put some type of refreshing spray on it. I have a really good one by Cantu Shea Butter. I will list it in the description because I don't have it on hand right this second. Um, and that's all I do. I get my hair wet, I put the Cantu Shea Butter on my hair the next morning, and I shake my head once again, like I did in the shower, to make it fall down, and I separate with my hands. So I'm going to finish this here shingling, and I will put the final result pictures here at the end.